Here's my Logosol uh, chainsaw mill set up. Got ramps I can drag the logs in with my truck, roll them up the ramps onto the beds, onto the bed of the mill, and then crank it up and saw through it. And there's the stack of rough sawn pine lumber that I'm going to use on my building. Lots of sawdust. Here's the actual saw that I'm using. It's a Husqvarna 394 XP. I think it's 90 cc. 90, 94 cc. So it's got a lot of power. 20 inch bar. I have a larger bar. 28 inch bar that I can switch out for you know different projects. If I'm wanting to cut something that's that needs more length, I got I have that as well. And here is a, it's a ripping chain from Granberg, Granberg ripping chain. And uh, the teeth are just designed differently. The angle, it's kind of hard to make that out, it's not really focusing, but the angle is on the front of the tooth is pretty flat, I think it's 10 degrees. And each alternating tooth is thinner. Um, they call them clearing cutters, so it helps it to, it helps the chain to pass through the log without gripping and grabbing and biting too Basically, much. Basically, I set this whole mill up myself, and I poured concrete pads here underneath the sawdust, and anchored the frame of the mill down into the concrete, so it it's really, really sturdy. It doesn't move at all. I don't have to worry about it tipping over when I get a heavy log on there.